Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup look using the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I have seen a lot of talk on the Anastasia Subculture palette um, and I heard that this one was really similar so I figured I would use this one because I didn't really want to get that one until they kind of fixed all the pressing problems and everything. So if you haven't seen it, this is the palette and these are the colors. So there's a, um, there's mainly mattes and then there's two um, metallic shimmer shades. And they're kind of bold uh, like the Subculture palette. So that is what we are going to be focusing on today. Um, but first I'm going to take you through just a regular makeup routine and then we'll get to the eyes. So if you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching. So as you can see, I already have my eyebrows on, so we are going to go in with we're going to go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter because I'm doing a really matte full coverage foundation. Alright, and then um, I think this is the first time using this on my channel. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. It comes in a little triangle. And this stuff is super full coverage. I got mine in Shell. And this just goes on like any other stick foundation. And I'm going to take my trusty Zoeva Flathead. Kabuki brush and just start blending. All right, now that I look like a ghost because things always oxidize on me <laughs> later on, I just apologize for the way my face looks. Sorry. <laughs> um, I am going to move on and do a little concealer with my NARS concealer. And I'm going to go in and set my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. And now for contour and bronzing, we are going to go into the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. And I am going to use the shade Medium Mocha. Alright, and for a highlight, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. Looks like this. And I'm going to go in with the gold shade Sunlight. And if you haven't used this, um, you should definitely get your hands on it. It's not very expensive. And the highlight is so so pretty and I don't actually um, usually buy highlighter palettes because I don't like I usually don't like all the shades that they put in them but this is so pretty because I can use this on the eyes it's a little dark for my face and then um, I can also use that on my face so yeah that one is super super gorgeous so for blush, I'm going to be using the Cargo Powder Blush in Canis. It looks like this. It's a really pretty pinky blush. By the way, don't mind my forehead. If you can tell that it's all peely and gross. It's finally peeling from 
my son's first birthday party at the pool, so just bear with me. All right, and now we're going to move on to the eyes and go into the Jeffree Star palette. And I think I'm going to go um, and do like a colorful look and play with these and these and probably that. So we'll see where it takes us. So I'm going to start out by fluffing um, that pretty yellow shade. It's like a mustard, like a dark mustard yellow. It's called Charm excuse me, into my crease, and I'm just going to build it up until I like how it looks. Alright, and then I think... Hmm. I think I want to go into this um, really pretty burgundy shade. It's called Fetish. And I'm going to take that a little lower in the crease and um, a lot in the outer edge. go back in with that deep orange and blend everything together. I think I want, let's see, I think I'm going to put this like dark teal down in the center and then probably put a metallic over top. And that one, the deep teal is called Poison. And I'm going to go back in with that burgundy color, just a little bit of it, and blend the edges together. Going, <laughs> then I'm going to go in to this pretty bronze, it's called Deja Vu. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid and I'm going in with a dry brush. All right, so when I went and put in um, the Deja Vu on top of the dark teal, I really didn't like it. I actually really like um, how my lid has turned out. So I am going to move on to my lower lash line and take a little pencil brush and put a little bit of charm underneath my eyes. That's the orangey color. And then I'm going to smoke in um, on my bottom lash line um, a little bit of that dark teal. Alright, and then I'm going to take some of Frosting. It's a really pretty yellowy gold and pop that on the inner corner. Alright, so that is how the eyes turned out. I really, really like it. I don't normally play with color, as you guys probably know. Um, but yeah, that was kind of... 
I wanted to get out of my box a little bit and yeah I really like how it turned out sorry about this stripe of light on my face the sunset is going down and the sunset is going down the sun's going down and it's um, peeking through my window all right so I am going to put on a little bit of winged liner with the NYX matte liquid liner and some Ardell black what are these 600s and I'll be right back all right, so I also put on a little bit of the Tartist Lash Paint. I think that's what this is called. Yeah, Lash Paint. Um, that is actually one of my favorite mascaras. I actually <laughs> lost it for a little bit, and I was like almost heartbroken, went out to buy another one, and it was just in the wrong drawer. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick from CoverGirl. This is in Kitty Purry. And that is the finished look. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you think and if you want to see more colorful looks like this. And yeah, share this to all your friends. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.